Hello everyone, welcome to a Biology Specified Practical. We are looking into investigating the factors affecting the abundance and distribution of a species. And the species we're going to look at today are daisies. Uh, daisies are a common plant species found on school fields. And what we're going to do today is use quadrats. You can see a one meter squared area of quadrats here to randomly select areas to uh, sample the amount of daisies in the school field. Um, and then we can use a simple calculation to estimate the total number of daisies in the entire area. Okay, so we're going to use a, a technique which reduces any sampling bias. That is, we're not choosing the areas where we're going to count the daisies, because we might select areas where there's many of them. Or if we're lazy, select areas where there's not many. So we want to reduce all that and use a random sampling technique, again, to reduce bias. So what we have are two 20-sided dice. I'm going to roll these two dice and they will tell me then the area I'm going to sample. We have two 20 meter length tapes laid out, one in this direction and one at right, and a right angle to that in that direction. So I'm going to roll my two dice to get the co coordinates where I'm going to place my quadrat, which is a one meter squared area, and I'll count the daisies in that area. So let's have a go. So this will be my red, die, uh, red dice, that's giving me an area of nine meters, a length of nine meters, and this one is three meters. So I'm now going to place my quadrats at those coordinates. So let's go down three meters. There we are. And now, Miss, if you could help me and try and find nine. So I'll place one right here so I know the leg. Let's try and find nine. Now, if you're working in a group, this will be a lot easier. So there's nine. I'm going to count the daisies in this uh, quadrat at those coordinates that the dice have randomly selected for me. Now, only the daisies that appear within these squares can be counted. Any just on the edge cannot be counted. Uh, you can see here now we have some daisies to count. And I have one, two, I think this is one which has just lost its leaves. We'll count that one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you look closely here, this one's just on the outside, so we cannot count that one. It has to appear within our quadrat area. So we have 12 daisies in this sampling area. Now we would need to do this 25 times in total to get more reliable results. Um, but I'm going to go in now because you see with my skin colour, I'm going to get sunburns in this weather, so uh, cut. When you've got your results, you need to use the following equation to estimate the total number of daisy plants in that field habitat. So the equation is the total number of daisy plants in the habitat. That would e equals the total number in the sample. Now in the sample I've just done, we've count, um, had 210 daisies in total. Times the total area. Now the total area is 20 by 20, which equals 400 meters squared. And then we use 25 one meter squared quadrats. So the total sample area is 1 times 25, which of course gives us 25. So therefore, we have 400 divided by 25, okay, and the total number in the sample was 210. So if we do that on our calculator, 400 divided by 25 gives us 16. 210 times 16 means that the total number of daisies in that school field is 3,360. And that's how you use this equation and non-biased sampling to estimate the total number of daisies in the total area.